my name is Marcia Cross and uh, as many of you know I had anal cancer several years ago I say several because it sounds really good but a few years ago three um and uh, my story isn't particularly interesting I went to the gynecologist I didn't have any symptoms she gave me a digital rectal exam and uh, felt something she didn't like and off I went to a few other doctors I was in complete denial finally got the message that I had cancer and went through that gnarly treatment that you either are going through or helping someone through or uh, hope never to go through. Anyway, um, what's interesting to me and what's important to me uh, right now is not the emotion behind having cancer. What is important, and I am going to ask this of all of you here today, unless you're in the middle of treatment, then you can wait until you're done and recover. Um, is to go out and spread the word about HPV and that it causes cancers, that it can cause anal cancer. And you can say the word anal a million times, anal, 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 until your friends get used to it because there's really, you know, nothing wrong with having an anus. We all have one and I love mine. Anyway, um, so do that and ask those people to tell other people and what you will do inevitably is save someone's life. Because that's why I get on this video thing and talk to you because I get so angry and upset. I got on the website this morning, the Anal Cancer Foundation, and I saw a story about a girl, 26, who lost her mother, 57, there she is. And I hate that. And this is a cancer that doesn't have to kill people. We find out we can cure it early. So no sob story from me, but a call to action that you go out and spread the word and don't be ashamed and talk about how HPV is ubiquitous and how it can cause anal cancer. Yes, your anal, your anal, your anal, anus. Because <sighs> I just don't want us to lose anybody else, any more mothers, any more anybody to this cancer. I don't know if that's what you wanted me to talk about, Justine. I thank you for inviting me to speak. And I send my love to all of you for whatever suffering you're going through. I get it. It's awful. But you're going to get strong again. And when you do, it's warrior time.